good boy. Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another gorgeous day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Today's video topic is going to be the real truth behind the TYM tractors here on the Stony Ridge Farm. I've had these tractors for about two years now. This is a real farm, a first generation farm, 150 acres here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. And these are my three TYM tractors. And that's a real farm dog. And we're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna walk you guys around these tractors I'm going to tell you what I like, what I don't like, and everything you need to know when making an informed decision, purchase decision on a tractor for your property. Stony Bridge. little boy how you doing hey this is buddy guys buddy is a german shepherd he's about six years old give me that shake okay give me the right hand good boy smart boy yes sir <laughs> are you happy you're a happy boy good dog okay you stay be good <laughs> guys welcome back to the farm if this is your first time to the stony ridge farm channel or your millionth time please hit that like button we are here in rural north carolina and we do everything rural farm content here and then a little bit of hot rod stuff mixed in there too so trucks tractors tools all that stuff that's what the stony ridge farm project is all about so right here are all three of my tym tractors okay this is the the TYM T254 25 horsepower tractor. This is the TYM T1104 110 horsepower TYM tractor. And this is the TYM T574 around the 55 horsepower cab tractor, cab machine. What I've learned over time here with these machines is that people don't know about the brand. People don't know about TYM tractors. And TYM tractors has been around for a very, very long time and they provide American jobs. These tractors are made in South Korea. They're made in South Korea by hardworking people just like you guys. And they build quality machinery. Just because you haven't heard of TYM doesn't mean TYM hasn't heard of you, okay? So TYM makes some of manufacturers i should say some of the rural king lineup some of the mahindra lineup and i think now they've partnered up with branson tractors but i'll have to <laughs> send you to the website to be a little more specific there these are the ones that i know about so we're going to start with the little guy and work our way to the big guy okay so first and foremost one of the most used tractors here on the Stony Ridge Farm is this little fella right here. This is the TYM T254. This is a 25 horsepower Yanmar diesel engine. We've got a six year warranty on this critter. This is your operator station. This seat actually lifts up and turns around. It has the backhoe kit on it. The backhoe was instrumental in helping me install the watering systems here on the Stony Ridge Farm. This comes off in about 10 minutes and you can attach any three point implement that this tractor will pull. Put it right on there and use it just like any other tractor, okay? Fit and finish wise, guys, I can't say enough. This tractor has not been kept in a shed for the last two years. It's been out. It's been out in the weather from time to time. It's been rained on, it's been snowed on, it's been iced on, and you cannot tell at all that any of that's gone down. There hasn't been any rust issues, no issues with reliability, no issues with the hydraulic system, no issues with the buckets, no issues with squeaking, squealing, moving, doing anything out of the ordinary. This is how the loader system works. So this is your loader handle right here. We'll just kind of get up here in the operator station to show you guys. I'm a big fella. People laugh when they see me on this tractor. I'm six foot five, I weigh about 220 pounds, and it fits me great. Look at the leg room that I have here on this TYM tractor. I've got plenty of room to handle whatever I want to handle inside the operator station here. You've got your brake on this side. Just like a lawnmower, it's a hydrostatic drive transmission. Push that to go forward, push that to go backwards. Here's your loader handle, very, very simple. Over here is your throttle. This is how you engage your PTO if you have a mowing setup. This is a magnetic phone holder that I have. 
Right here you have all your lighting controls. Uh, does this one have a horn? I can't remember. <laughs> yep, this one comes with a horn. You won't get that in a green tractor, I'll tell you that, unless you pay extra. This is your PTO. This is your high and low, and this is your four-wheel drive. On, off, low, high. It won't switch in right now because the tractor is not running. Very simply, we'll just go ahead and start this critter up. You've got an emergency brake set, so you mash your brake pedal right here, pull that up. That locks your emergency brake. If you're going down the road, this is your cruise control. Going down the road or going through the farm and you're mowing, you set your speed and you click that up and it locks it into place. Let's start this machine up real quick for you so you understand. Gauges are pretty informative right there. Not a whole lot. This is a compact tractor. Subcompact, I do believe. You can't argue with that. Fires right up. Here's the loader arms. I've got the pallet forks on it because I've been using this to offload lumber from our Woodmiser sawmill. Moves nice, very crisp, no issues. If it won't lift it, you can't pick it up. So it won't break itself, I guess, is what I'm looking to tell you. If you mash here all the way forward, that is the float position that takes all the tension off of your hydraulic system. Lock our brake, turn it off. That's it. Super simple tractor, guys. That's what it's all about, simplicity. Super, super simple. Now, some of the other guys with green paint use the same Yanmar engine, I do believe, and Yanmar engines are what are inside the John Deere Gator. I know that, the 835M has a Yanmar diesel engine. That's a reliable, good engine that's proven to be a great piece of machinery. That is Little T, the TYM254 tractor, T254. Over here, where Buddy's hanging out. Hey, little friend. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> We've got a nice big bucket on here. This tractor is an absolute little workhorse for the farm, guys. You can see our hydraulics are strong, robust. Everything is plumbed very, very nicely. We have a secondary hydraulic right here in case we want to put a brush cutter implement, a grapple, or anything like that on the front of this tractor. Both, well, actually, all three tractors have the skid steer type quick attach levers. So you can pull up to any skid steer type quick attach bucket or implement, hook it right up, drop those levers, and you've got it squared away. This has jacks right here because you can just simply pull a couple pins, pop a few hoses off, and biggity bam, your loader system can be off the tractor in case you don't want to carry extra weight while you're out mowing. I've never taken it off because sometimes when you're out mowing, you're on the edge of a pasture, you might need to push some brush back up into the woods. So I've never taken it off. This thing is proven to be a really, really strong tractor. This is what I'll be pulling the manure spreader with here later on in the year on the Stony Ridge farm. This tractor really was bought so that I could use six foot implements, six and seven foot implements. So you need a mid-sized tractor on a 150 acre piece of property. You don't need to take this big guy everywhere you go, but it will do everything. That one will do everything that this one will do, but it has a bigger footprint, okay? And you can see that it's just a little bit smaller of a tractor. We'll talk about Big T, the TYM 1104, in just a minute. So looking around here, I've got the woods scrape blade on right here. This is green because the first tractor I bought was a green tractor. Totally man, I hate to say it, and I don't want to dog another brand, but I was totally disappointed in that green tractor. These tractors, all three of them have been here on the farm. Those two have been here for two years. This one has been here for a year and they have been problem free. The first two days I ran my green tractor, I had to take it back in and have it serviced. I took it over to my service department at the green tractor store and it was in three giant pieces with clods of mud underneath it. I told them I don't want that tractor back. I just don't want it back. So we ended up having to eat a $1,200 cost in order to replace my green 5065 tractor. Very sad. It's still here on the farm because I can't eat that expense and lose that investment. So it's a dedicated tractor for brush mowing on the front and a backhoe on the back of Woods Backhoe. So as we cruise around here, the cool thing about this machine is if you're hooking up a three-point implement such as this guy right here, I've got the big tool rack quick attach on the back right here so we can just back up, hook to it, and we're good to go. If I had to back up and hook to the brush hog or something like that, a brush cutter, then this is a control for your hydraulics on the outside of the tractor. Check out the taillights, really, really nice. Almost like a Ferrari kind of look to it. So you'll see here, I'm gonna pull this lever. 
See that? That lever controls up and down with your hydraulics. Very, very simple. Super easy to use, guys. The doors are nice. This one's probably locked, I'll bet you. You've got lighting. You've got lighting here. You've got lighting there. You've got lights all over this machine. You've got fully adjustable mirrors right here so that you can watch your implement from the cab of the tractor, or if you have to go down the road to a different part of your farm, you're totally covered there. Nice tires right here. These are Carlisle tires. Very, very nice. Um, what else to tell you right here? This is a diesel tractor. This has the regen function on it, I do believe. In other words, this does not take the deaf fluid. Hey, buddy, good boy. So that's a good dog right there, guys. Great farm dog. Feel the door, very crisp seals up tight cab's got a little dirt in it man this tractor's been used okay we're gonna step on up here we've got a nice robust step fuel filler is right here very simple cup holders creature comforts places to put your maps and or your lunch box if you want it we've got another cup holder here cup holder here 12 volt power supply um, another power supply right there for your usb plug-ins right there and then another storage area to put your phone if you want to put your phone there or whatever you like if you need a little bit of air in the cab you can just open the cabs up just like this okay you need an escape hatch you need to get out of here something happens you can go right out in the back glass just like that latches down tight okay door latch on the inside simple depress one finger bam snug tight guys right and tight this tractor is dusty i use these machines Turn this critter on right here. Really cool. It says welcome. The gauges dance a little bit for you. <laughs> got a horn on it. <laughs> so we've got a few things here we need to know. We got an adjustment right here. We pull this knob and we can adjust our steering to get it down into our lap where it's more comfortable. Again, I'm a very tall guy. Same kind of controls except for we have a left brake and a right brake here. And we lock them both together for this. This is your emergency brake. Just like that the dog freaked out a little bit hey buddy no biggie <laughs> this is forward this is reverse this is your loader handle this is your uh, fuel control this is your lock for cruise control so you can get to whatever speed you want to go and this tractor has a speedometer you hit that button and that locks it into place this is for your regeneration for your emissions control very very simple easy to use and this is for information as we click it It'll tell us everything we want to know. 120, well, 12 volts, 41.6 hours on this machine right now. This tractor hasn't been used very much because it's only been here for about a year. And I have yet to have any troubles whatsoever with it. And we're due for our first service at 50 hours, coming really soon. Up here, creature comforts. We've got a dome light. We've got our heating and air conditioning set up. We've got speakers in the back. Nice Kenwood stereo. Very, very nice, guys. Right over here, we've got medium, low, and high, which is super simple, super easy to use. Turn signals left and right. Emergency flashers for going down the road right there. And our headlights. We have headlights, and we also have rear wiper, front wiper, rear washer, front washer, and our lights on the outside on the upper part of the cab. That's all the controls. Look at all the vents up here. Vent, 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 vent. There's so much ventilation in this tractor. It's really, really nice. Let's just turn the tractor on. You're going to love this. You can't argue with that, guys. That thing purrs like a kitten. It's as if <laughs> I just started a G-Wagon Mercedes, man, a diesel G-Wagon Mercedes. These tractors are something to be really proud of, and I'm super happy with the 574. Now, onward and upward, and while we're watching this, I hope you guys are enjoying some of the footage of these tractors working here on the Stony Ridge Farm. While we're talking tractors, it, <laughs> the Big T right here, I call him Big T, Mr. T, is my favorite tractor of all. This guy is absolutely a massive machine. My favorite dog's right here, by the way. Uh, massive machine. Four lights up here on the top of the cab. Uh, two lights up here on either side. A massive loader system on here for loading really, really heavy stuff gigantic tires here guys really those are carlisle tires also um let's see if i've got this unlocked yes it's unlocked uh these are all the creature comforts this one's just a little bit cleaner on the inside 
It's been really muddy this year. Again, the 1104, TYM 1104. And I'm gonna point you guys in the direction of the TYM website if you want all the full specs, the engine types and all that stuff uh, on these engines. They're great machines, really are great, great machines. Now, as we go along here, we've got fenders very nice fenders these are a, a very hard robust plastic right here no issues whatsoever I have hit trees with these I've hit trees with those this is my mowing machine and evidently it's some birds pooping <laughs> machine I think I got a bluebird problem <laughs> it's so funny right here is your fuel tank the filler has a lock on it so nobody can steal your fuel uh, if you're out on a job mowing for somebody this is where your deaf fluid goes in Death fluid scares a lot of people. Diesel exhaust fluid, it doesn't scare me. It's very, very simple, guys. I've only had to put about a gallon and a half of diesel exhaust fluid in this machine since I've owned it, and we'll check the hours. It's well over 100, close to 200 hours on this machine. Fenders, they're a heavy duty, um, polymer fender okay so you don't have to worry about getting a dent in your fender on each side of the back of the tractor right here we have controls for our hydraulic lift system this is our three-point lift system there are three hydraulic hookups back here three separate remotes and i'll show you those in the inside also we have a hydraulic pto uh excuse me we have a hydraulic uh Top link right here from ABI Attachments, and this is the Weanfield Drag Hair. It's an instrumental part of our farming operation, our regenerative farming operation. We drag our pastures with this critter right here. Just look at how big this machine is. It is super big, super strong. Two more lights right up here on the back side, and I think it's high time we decided we'd get up in the cab. I think that this is built right here for a Eurospec tractor where I think over in Europe you have to have a license plate on the back of your tractor. That's not the case here in North Carolina. Now, feel this door. Gosh, crisp. That is a huge piece of glass, guys. One finger. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna hop up in here. You have your trainer seat and or buddy seat. So, my wife can ride with me if I want to. That's pretty cool. We're gonna hop on up here. Dual steps, one step here, one step right here. As we look at the operator station, this is a air ride suspension seat. Your emergency brake is right here. Your PTO controls are right there. We'll get into that. Cup holder, got a spot to put goodies, owner's manual, snacks, stuff like that, because you're in this tractor all day long. We've got in the back here, another 12 volt outlet right there and if i'm going to charge my phone i'll plug it in right here and just lay my phone up there this i believe is for a moisture meter for a hay bale roller this is turn up back up this stops your pto shaft if you're going around a sharp turn so it'll stop it from spinning if you want to you just simply hit that button automatic pto engages automatically back up if you back up it'll raise the implement okay four-wheel drive and four-wheel drive auto so this automatically switches to four-wheel drive when it feels something slip diff lock all this stuff is electronically controlled this has the bosch control system right here for the three point and this was a learning curve for me that's the only issue i've ever had with this tractor was learning how to not just pull a lever so i had to learn exactly how this worked guys and it's super fantastic you can adjust the speed at which it lifts how high it lifts your draft control everything you need for a big tractor like this this is your throttle so instead of being up here the throttle is here on this tractor and these are your three remotes right here you could also add a fourth remote if you wanted to this is our gear shifter this gear shifter has a high and low shift on the fly push button right here if you pull the trigger right here it engages the clutch so you can change gears without mashing the clutch pedal which is right there you don't have to mash the clutch you can pull that and shift gears really cool so we have four gears uh, on this shifter right here and a high low for each one so in each mode which it has low high medium and creep gear all those have four excuse me eight gears so four times eight times two you guys do the math i think that's 32 different gears that you can run in this so they'll all do reverse the same as they'll do forward this is your loader handle right here 
incorporated into the loader handle is this little push button setup. So if you have a grapple on there, all you have to do is push that. Uh, very, very simple, very robust. And if you want to lock it in place, each one of them has a lock on it. So you can lock it in place so you don't accidentally push the loader down if it you weren't buckled up or something and fell this way. You got handles right here, guys. Plenty of handles. Uh, you also have a sunshade on this in case the sun is setting down there. And you can actually you can see right through that so you're not getting blinded by the sun up there we go we've got a little uh, sunroof kind of set up right here that's in case you're working up overhead you can always see what you're working with and that has this critter right here so we can block that off if we need to we're going to leave it open for the light so we can see inside this tractor here's where your key is very simple this also moves back and forth up and down if we pull this little handle oh it's kind of hard to do one-handed there we go it's impossible to do one-handed <laughs> there we go we have infinite adjustment of our steering right there got our turn signals our lights everything right here just like a car shuttle shift forward and reverse this automatically actuates for forward and reverse so if i push this forward you go forward i don't have to even stop i can click it into reverse the tractor will slow itself down and go into reverse this also has uh, some emission systems right here this is your instrument cluster and we're going to go ahead and turn the key on on this thing and watch the instruments dance they don't dance just like the other ones do they thought you guys thought i'd catch you not paying attention let's go ahead and fire this critter up and let you guys see mash the clutch that's a big boy and she's purring like a kitten man yeah baby here's all your heating and air conditioning controls and it's hot in here right now we'll turn that on Air vent, air vent, return air vent, air vents, air vents all around. Got a nice Kenwood radio in this critter too. Right here is our front and rear wiper controls. Also our front and rear <laughs> spray for rinsing. There we go. This is our light controls for the upper lights. And the lower lights are controlled just like a car right here, okay? Very, very simple. We have 179 hours on this machine. There's your throttle, we'll throttle down. Okay, we don't have to set the brake with our foot here, we set the brake right there, so just like so. Very automotive in styling right there, guys. Got a mirror here so we can look back, we got a mirror there so we can check our implement, and we got another mirror right there so we can check our implement. Now, what do you really wanna know? What do you really wanna know from a guy that's gonna be honest with you? Because I have no deal, nothing worked out, anymore with tym tractors and i'm keeping them these tractors are going to stay here on the farm because they are absolutely fantastic pieces of machinery i have not been let down by one of these tractors in any way whatsoever i am super happy with the tym tractor brand guys thank you all so very much for joining me here on the stony ridge farm what i'm telling you is you don't have to go out and buy the big shot brands of overpriced tractors. You can use something like these TYM tractors and get the same service, the same reliability, and the same strength in a tractor for a lot less cost. This is a great machine. I'm super proud to have TYM tractors. TYM USA provides American jobs. American jobs haul these tractors to their destinations. American workers put them together. American workers sell these and Americans work on these. This is a great brand of tractor, guys. So if you haven't heard of TYM, now's your chance. Guys, we'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. I think it's time that Buddy got out of the bucket, right? Come here, boy. All right, unload, unload. <laughs> good boy, give me a hug. Come here, give me a hug. Oh, such a good boy. <laughs> Go play. Go play. <laughs> That's the Honda. Guys, I like quality. I like good machinery. And I'm telling you, this is a great tractor. Great bang for your buck. If you're starting a first generation farm or if you've been farming for five generations, these TYM tractors really hold up. This is my experience with these tractors. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. Please hit that like button. I'd love to have you back. Subscribe to the channel. We got a lot more to do. That's the mega shop back there. And we got some projects to work on, guys. See you next time. Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! Load up! Hup! Yo!
good boy. Oh, gosh. Be careful. Come on. Up. Load up. Load up. Load up. Good. You ain't got to go over. That's good. You tried to go all the way in and drive the tractor. You can't drive, buddy. You're not allowed to drive yet. You're not old enough. Unload. <laughs> Take care, guys. Have a great day.